Hey Google, talk to my test app. Okay, here's the test version of my test app. Hi there, welcome from Black Box Text Test Application. Show me the weather of Atlanta. You asked for Atlanta. We are now displaying weather for Atlanta. Show me the weather of Los Angeles. You asked for Los Angeles. We are now displaying weather for Los Angeles. Show me the weather of Virginia. You asked for Virginia. We are now displaying weather for Virginia. Exit. Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's session I will take you through the process of connecting a Google Assistant application with your web application. So without further ado, let's get started. Before start, I would like to inform you one important thing. You have to have a Google account which is connected in your mobile as well as if you have a Google Home, the same email ID need to be used in that so that you can test in mobile as well as in your Google Home devices. Using the same email ID, I have logged into Dialogflow and created a project called Blackbox. When you create a new project, you will have two default intent created for you. In default welcome intent, I have changed my default response hi there welcome from blackbox tech test application through google assistant when you go inside this application you will be greeted with this response first next i have created another custom intent called show me weather Now when user will ask show me weather it will give, give some kind of response which will code in shortly. So for training phases I have created show me weather for Atlanta and then this Atlanta has been marked at system.geoct. So in the action section I have added a action called Swether. In our code, we will not be using, but by default, we can add a particular action. So, if you need, in later point of time, you can use that. So, in the I mark that as record and the parameter name that city, this Atlanta, this will be our variable particularly, which will be changed according to the response of the user. So I have, it is always required. So I have marked that as required. So if that particular list not matching as a city, it will let you know like, please say a city name as I have added that as a prompt, please say a city name. And the entity is system.geocity uh, and then value I have given a dollar city. You can use any variable in this place. Now, the next thing I have done, I have gone to this fulfillment. So, before that, let me take you to Firebase. In the Firebase, within the console, the first thing you have to create a real-time database. So this is my project. Within database, I have created a real-time database. So the real-time database holds nothing. So I have a location and within that I have a city and this city will be updated automatically whenever you speak to Google Assistant and the variable we have taken in Dialogflow. 
next inside fulfillment so when you, there will be some code by default <coughs> we need which you need to change the code i have changed i have added this firebase admin i have taken a constant admin and then record the firebase admin module to connect with my firebase database and then i provided the credential and then the, the database url please note the database url connection will be ws in your firebase you have this as https so don't forget to change that and then initialize your application with this credential and database url and then within this function dialog flow firebase fulfillment within that what it to do i have added a function called save to db that this is basically agent as a taken agent as a parameter and then i am getting the parameter from my intent through this constant like agent dot parameters dot ct it will re uh, return you the uh, variable uh, tell by other uh, user so now i am adding a uh, information with agent dot add and it will say you asked for and then the city name i've added a console and also this thing like i have connected from admin database and the reference is the location and the city location and then city and then i have set the city name so whenever there is an update this value will be getting updated and then the last i will say the agent will say like uh, we are now displaying weather for atlanta or whatever information you have provided in the intent section i have connected my function with the custom intent i have created so show me whether is my custom intent and i passed the function so whenever this intent will match it will call the function save to db and it will save the city there once you've done that you can just deploy and also within this default testing a you can actually test or the better will be if you go to google assistant application a google assistant application will be created for you automatically and the simulator will be ready for you where you can actually test your application you can see test now enabled and you will greet with a already filled up talk to my test app okay let's get the test version of my test app hi there welcome from black box text test application now you can write show me weather for atlanta You asked for Atlanta. We are now displaying weather for Atlanta. The same time, if you see the Firebase database, this will be updated. Now let's try with a different thing. for Virginia we are now displaying weather for Virginia so you can see this real-time database has been updated so setting up uh, Google assistant and database and the dialog flow is complete here so the next thing is we'll be using this real-time database value to in our web application so if you remember in one of the video I have created a angular element and that uh, application is mainly weather application and weather widget where there is two input one is matrix and one is the city is needed so today i'll be using the same application to show this interactivity so so this is our weather application and now uh, if the as the database already updated you can see this is showing virginia the value 
so this is a simple application it's a plain app uh, uh, generated through angular cli and within this application we have this app folder within this app folder the weather component we have the main weather code so i will not go through the step by step this is the same application uh, in one of the angular element video you will get this uh, uh, code so this is just uh, <coughs> our component need two inputs one is matrix and one is city and uh, we are using that as an input and then we are calling a weather service and getting the service back and uh, also we are calling the local time api as well to uh, show the particular local time of that particular city so this is a simple code and this component actually i have added into app component html so this is the component and now you can see the location there is a binding and in the location if we go to app component ts yes, this is where we are talking to firebase database so you can actually uh, include the firebase within uh, first of the thing is you have to add in angular module and in angular module app module we have added angular firebase database, database module and angular fire module and then we have the initialize app and in the environment file we have added all this configuration and then in the app component ts yes, we have used angular firebase database angular fire database we have created a uh, within constructor we have uh, used that and then on engine it i'm just calling my this is the node and then on value changes we have subscribed to that particular a event and when it is returning city the city name this city name actually we are having these things and we are converting this as string and that same value this city name is binded in our html so this is pretty simple and within few minutes you will get the idea but the more important thing it opens lots of opportunity for you now you know how to connect a google assistant and you can you implement a dialog flow with your web application now you can do lots of things through the google voice assistant i hope you like it thanks for watching Please share, like and subscribe. Thank you.